I'm Mingul Park in charge of training for utilization of fumigation equipment and devices in Koika program. I'm, in this time, I'm going to present use of tether of bag and gas syringe for collecting fumigant. The contents are as follows about tether of bag and gas syringe how to use a total of bag and gas syringe and summary. I'm going to show you about total of bag and gas syringe. Total of bag is a specially designed plastic bag to capture fumigant. The name total of is originated from its material, PVF, its brand name. This PVF material is highly stable on chemicals, so it can be used to capture both organic and inorganic gas. Some tether bag is covered by aluminum polyester to protect the gas from photolysis. The valve of tether bag can be changed by different purpose, so you can choose a suitable valve type for your work. Tethered bag can be used to check VOC from environment, automobile, and factory, and also to check the fumigant concentration. Size of tethered bag is variable, variable, but you usually use one liter of tethered bag, which is proper to sample the gases. Tether up bag is composed of plastic bag and sampling port. Plastic bag is made by PVF and well sealed. The paper label is stuck in front, in front of bag and you can write the gas information on the label. Sampling port has three parts, the cover cap, a rubber septum and inside the pipe. When you handle the cover cap, you can see a black, black and white part because the rubber septum is insoled between black and white part. You don't have to separate two parts. The side part, side pipe is closed when, when cover cap is locked and they will be opened when cover cap is released uh, one counter clockwise turn. There are another kind of sampling port. So you have to check how to use it before sampling gas. We usually use this type of tether bag. So I'll show you how to use the tether bag with this. Counterclockwise turn of cover cap will open the side pipe and the clockwise turn uh, is closed Y5. More than one turn is required to fully open the pipe, but do not turn it too much. This is a clockwise turn, uh, counterclockwise turn. This is a clockwise turn. If we completely turn and remove the cover cap, you can see big hole, gas hole, and total gas inside the gas bag will be exhausted through the hole. Again, please do not turn or remove the black part of cover cap, this one. Only the white part, this one, white part should be turned to open the side pipe. Gas syringe is specially designed glass or plastic syringe to test or analyze gas. Gas syringe composed of needle, burner, and plunger part. Plunger have rubber or plastic gas cap for air tightness. Burner has have graduations, so gas amount can easily be identified. 
We also know the type of syringe. This is jumbo syringe. From now on, how to use the toddler bag and gas syringe is going to explain. This is a precautions before using gas syringes. Read gas scale at the eye level. Read gas scale at the bottom of gasket. If your bottom of gasket is not flat, read the gasket edge bordered on barrel. Ensure the syringe is not blocked or contaminated with another other chemicals before use. If the needle is blocked, pump air through the syringe several times or rinse with the solvent like hexane or distilled water or dry before use. Avoid holding the gas scale section of gas filled syringe. Body heat can change the volume of gas contained. Avoid use, using the full volume of syringe. Use between 20 and 80% of volume. The gas sample should not stay in the syringe for more than one minute. Do not use defective syringes like a friction or leak. This is uh, how to sample gas with the toddler bag in large scale of the field. Write down the gas information on the label. The capture the fumigant gas with the gas tight syringe without needle, this one. Uh, this is the fumigation tarpaulin. This is uh, the scene of extracting gas from the tarpaulin. After extraction gas from the tarpaulin in the field, and then connect the syringe tip to side five of the toddler bag with the silicone top, and turn, turn the cover cap to open the side pipe and inject gas into bag, into bag. After injection, turn the cover cap to cross pipe and remove silicone tube. That's it. This is a how sample gas with the tether bag in small scale of laboratory. The write down, write down gas information on the level. The capture the fumigant gas with the gas syringe. The in small fumigation chamber, this one. After extract the gas from the fumigation chamber and then Injection the gas to the uh, toddler bag. Pierce the top rubber seal the hole of toddler bag with the silicone needle, syringe needle. Watch out not to pierce the river side with the needle. Inject the gas and remove needle from the bag from injection. This is a how to sample gas from toddler bag for gas uh, GC analy analysis. Sorry. Pierce the top rubber seal the hole of toddler bag with the syringe needle. Watch out not to pierce the river side with the needle. Sample the gas from the back and then remove needle from the back and then injection the gas to gas chromatography.
This is a how to clean Tadala bag with air. Tadala bag is generally a uh, one-time use only. So this cleaning method is only for particular purpose. Turn on the fume hood and completely open the cover cap in hood. Slowly just see the gas from the bag with cushion. Connect the air pump or jumbo syringe with the side pipe. Now is that um, the air is ejecting from the um, tether bag. Block, block the upper hole with the cover cap. And then inject the air into the back. Do not rotate the cover cap to prevent the back damage. Before full inflating, remove cap and press the back with the hand to remove air like this. Repeat four or five more than five times. Repeat four or five steps more than five times and because this uh, tether work is very expensive. So that's why sometimes you use uh, repeatedly uh, after cleaning this procedure. And disconnect the air pump. They remove the, the air inside react with the um, close to cover cap. And then lastly, removed air inside back with a plastic syringe. People using tether back, there is something that you have to keep in mind. First, do not use back if sampling port rubber septum or bag is broken because there can be a possible leak. Fumigants are generally toxic to human body, so never use damaged bag. To prevent this problem, it is good to check the bag leakage with the plastic syringe before use. Second use and store the bag separately by gas type to prevent the contamination. Some gases can be remained inside the bag even after cleaning procedure. This remained gas causes analysis error, so you do better store bag separately. Third, gas filled bag should be stored in the fume hood or well ventilated space to prevent the intox intoxication. Fourth, do not over, overfill the bag with the gas. Gas volume can easily be changed by temperature. So overfill the bag can be exploded at higher temperature. Fifth, use the gas mask or other protective apparatus when sampling the gas to protect yourself. Safety is always the most important thing in fumigation work. This is a summary. Tether bag is a specially designed plastic bag to capture fumigants. 
tadalop that has a good tolerance on organic solvent. So it can be used for both organic and inorganic gas. Counterclockwise turn of cover cap will open the side pipe and the clockwise turn will close pipe. Gas syringe is specially designed glass or plastic syringe to test or analyze gas. Gas syringe is composed of needle, burr, and plunger part. Burr have graduations, so gas amount can easily be identified for accurate and safe use. Check a leak or malfunction before using toddler bag and gas syringe. Comply with the instructions and the safety guidelines. Uh, this is uh, all about use of toddler bag and gas syringe. See you next time on another topic. Thank you very much for your attention.